This is a piece of Mars, a Martian meteorite that landed on Earth. But why isn't it red? When you think of Mars, you think red. Red dust, red sky, the red planet. But this piece of the Amgala 1 meteorite is mostly dark gray with some green and brown tones. Not that close to the reddish Martian color that we all expect. So what gives? Well, here's the deal. Mars looks red from orbit because its surface is covered in iron oxide. Basically, rust. Rust forms when iron reacts to oxygen, and even though Mars has a very thin atmosphere, there's just enough oxygen for that reaction to happen over a long period of time. You see, over billions of years, wind and dust storms have spread this fine red powder across the planet where it coats everything, even the rovers that we've sent there. All that said, Amgala 1 and other Martian meteorites don't come from that dusty surface layer. They come from deeper beneath the surface. The reason we even have these Martian meteorites is because of massive asteroid impacts on Mars. Those launch chunks of rock into space, but only the material with enough velocity escapes Mars gravity. And that usually comes from a few meters or even several kilometers down into the planet. That subsurface rock hasn't been oxidized by the thin Martian atmosphere, so it's simply just not red. Instead, it's volcanic. Most Martian meteorites are basaltic shergatites, igneous rocks formed from lava. They're made of proxene, plagioclase, and olivine, just like basalt here on Earth. In fact, the texture looks a lot like lava rocks you'll find in places like Hawaii or Iceland. But Chris, if these meteorites look like Earth rocks, then how can we be sure they're from Mars at all? Well, I'm glad you asked. It comes down to oxygen isotopes, basically different flavors of oxygen. Every planetary body in the solar system formed inside of its own little chemical bubble. So the ratio of oxygen atoms in their rocks ends up being slightly different. Because we've analyzed the Martian atmosphere with landers, we can compare that data with the chemical makeup of these meteorites that we found. We use this same technique to identify meteorites that have come from the moon or asteroids we've been close enough to sample. It also allows us to exclude Earth as the original home of these stones. So while meteorites like this one don't look like Mars as we typically envision it, the science confirms these brown rocks were indeed former residents of the red planet. Make sure to give me a follow for more space rocks.